Sally and I were very close. I do think that something terrible might have happened. You too. Why, who else does? You, Commissioner. I overheard you speaking with Mr. Stewart. I assure you, young lady, I was only following through on a routine investigation. Sally Reese and I have known each other since school days. We used to work together, room together, until she decided to come to Venice. She used to write every week, then less and less. This is her last letter. You'll note it's dated shortly before they say she left. It's gotten to the point where I must tell someone. And who but you could I tell this to? Oh, Greta, I'm living in a world I never knew existed. At times I feel as if I were being driven by another will, a superior force that lures me even as it repels me. In my moments of sanity, such as now, when I realize to what depths I have sunk, I, I want to turn back to flee from this house, run far, far away. But then I'm prey once again, mesmerized by their evil, unable to escape it, and then not wanting to escape it. A willing slave in this world of perverse pleasures. If I could only see you, I'd be able to explain what I feel. But sometimes I, I wonder if I'll ever see you again. Write to me, I beg you. But, but for God's sakes, not to this address. Write in care of the post office, please, Greta. Love, Sally. Doesn't really say very much. Just words, and somewhat disconnected at that. Mr. Richard Stewart is a very important man, is that it? There are many ways one can interpret that letter. It's anything but precise. No direct accusation. What are you going to do now, signorina? I'm going to stay on in that house until I find out what happened to Sally. How did you manage to get employed there? Sally and I both worked for Stratton, Richard Stewart's publisher. It was easy enough. Hmm. If what you suggest is true, you're in considerable danger in that house, you know. I must go.